myself Dr. Fangha Nagatul, addressing you from the channel Learn Biology with Dr. Nagatul. This is my fourth lecture in series and I am dealing with the human diseases. Today's topic is Malaria disease which is a very fatal and serious disease of warm countries in mainly in tropical and subtropical countries like India, uh, Sri Lanka, Peru, South Africa, etc. As you are all aware that this disease is very common in India and because India is a warm country and here the this causal pathogen which is uh, discovered by a uh, scientist C. Leveron which is in 1880, it is plasmodium, a tiny protozoan which belongs to protozoa group. There are four species which are very uh, common and famous for causing this disease that is plasmodium myovex, plasmodium malaria, plasmodium ovale and plasmodium falciparum. Now the important thing is this, in 1897 a doctor from Indian Army, his name was Ronald Ross, he discovered, he seen the different infective stage in female anopheles. Uh, which causes disease in army officers and later on he was awarded Nobel Prize in 1902 for his significant work. Now the incubation period. You must know that incubation period is an important term uh, to understand any disease cycle and it can be defined as it can be defined as the entry of pathogen and the appearance of first symptom, the period between these two steps is known as incubation period. And for Vivex, it is about 12 days, and for uh, Plasmodium falciparum, it is about 14 days. Now, symptoms are very important in this disease, and it occurs in form of a cycle. Firstly, the malarial patient show the shivering because he or she feels a severe cold in his or her body. The shivering is uh, along with the high pulse rate and after this stage, the second stage comes and this stage is known as rigor stage that is shivering and after this, the body temperature rises up to 104 to 105 degree Fahrenheit after one hour. This is known as febrile stage. It means the patient suffers a very severe fever, very high fever in his body due to the plasmodium infection. After this, the third stage comes after some hours, sweating starts in human body and slowly, 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 slowly the body temperature goes down and patient feels some type of fatigue and weakness and later on he feels some relax in his body. Types of malaria, I am only discussing two types of malaria which are very common in the world. The first is Common malaria, it is this fever comes after every 48 hours. It means after the gap of 3 days regularly. And the entire cycle goes, runs, that is starting with the shivering, followed by the high fever, then sweating. And it is, the second is very uh, fatal. Uh, known as malignant or cerebral malaria, very serious type caused by plasmodium falciparum. Here the large number of RBCs are destroyed by this pathogen infection and due to this 
patients suffer from hemophilia as you all know that hemophilia is a lack of decrease in the number of rbcs in our blood later on the blood becomes dilute and patient body becomes weak i have written all the notes on the board you can easily see and note down later on pilia or jaundice appears in the patho in the patient body and spleen size spleen is a structure which is present in our body system its size increases due to the infection and very high mortality rate it means this cerebral malaria causes a large number of death in the world students now we come to the life cycle of this pathogen that is plasmodium and it is known as blood parasite and it is diagenetic that that the life cycle of plasmodium completes into two host the one is man and the second is female mosquito that is anopheles female anopheles and we can also say that the anopheles female anopheles is the carrier of this pathogen also here i have drawn a cycle the entire life cycle and now st i starts from this point as the infected uh, plasmo uh, anopheles mosquito is biting a hand of a human being you can easily see in the diagram and in saliva of this mosquito sporozoites are there which are the infective stages and they enter in the blood of healthy person and they these infective stages moves with the blood and they reach up to the healthy person's liver the liver is the first organ which is affected by this infective stage known as sporozoites now multiplication of these sporozoites takes place inside the blood and Mirozoites are formed. Mirozoites, large number of mirozoites are formed. They are also known as crypto mirozoites, and they enter in the blood cells where they multiply. And due to these steps, rupturing of blood cell takes place, and a special type of toxin substance, hemozoin, is released. which are causing the rupturing of rbc so here we can easily see when a female mosquito that is anopheles bites a healthy person it goes through the blood enter in the liver multiply there and then they enter in the blood rbcs and rupture them and large number of cryptomerozoites and we must say merozoites are found now these merozoites some merozoites enter again in the rbcs or blood cells and some merozoites they become gametophytes which are the precursors of male and female gametes now we are heading towards the sexual reproduction of this pathogen this cycle goes inside the man that is in human being now these gametophytes enter in the unaffected female anopheles when this anopheles uh, suck the blood of a infected man now anopheles is healthy and the man is infected at the system and with blood meal these gametophytes enter in the blood of female mosquito that is female anopheles here the fertilization takes place that is fusion of male and female female uh, male and female gamete and a zygote which is diploid is formed in the intestine of a female mosquito later on after some time this zygote inside the female mosquito 
it gives rise to sporozoites and in the starting the infection starts from the sporozoites and these sporozoites which are formed in the intestine of the mosquito it migrates to the salivary glands of a female and a female. Important point this sporozoite from the intestine migrates to the salivary glands of female anopheles. Here I am showing you the salivary gland of a female anopheles mosquito and large number of sporozoites you can see in the diagram which are pointed structures and again these when a infected female anopheles bite a healthy man again the cycle starts. So I am showing this cycle in two parts. Here it is inside the human being and here it is in female anopheles mosquito. This is the life cycle and you can easily draw from my diagrams. Now we come to the last point of this disease that is prevention and treatment and we can say that prevention is better than cure. So here the vector is female anopheles, the vector and the second host is female anopheles. So first of all we should concentrate to control the vector population. For this a person, a healthy person should first of uh, all avoid the mosquito bite by covering his body with full sleeves with proper dress and net mosquito net should be used in night and the mosquito repellent creams they should be applied on the open parts of the human body. The second point to destruction of mosquito egg insecticides are used that is DDT, BHC etc. As far as the biological control of the disease is concerned which is the main control practices in entire world because mosquito lays egg, female mosquito lays egg in bottles so a special type of fish known as gambosia fish it is uh, uh, kept in waters which eat the head of this uh, pathogen and the second one is we discuss about the insectivorous plants that is utricularia etc. They can also be used uh, which is about an uh, aquatic plant for killing the eggs of this pathogen and as far as the treatment is there since last 300 years, a traditional medicine that is quinine is used for controlling this disease and this quinine is obtained from a tree that is known as cinchona tree and the, from the bark of this tree, this, this medicine is extracted. Nowadays synthetic medicines are there where the base is quinine and they are as follows which are written here, Veraprim. Mephlid Queen. These are recent medicines and some other medicines are Rasuchin, etc. This completes the entire studies of this malarial disease. And for some time, I say goodbye and good luck to all my dear students. Thank you.